Dylison, this could be a total breakthrough in the treatment of asthma. I know next to nothing about Dylison. You better get Googling. I just got off the phone to a major pharmaceutical company. They want to meet with you to discuss your findings. Congratulations, Brooke, you have hit the big league. Hey, what was that about? Me being a terrible friend. I'm such an idiot. No, you're not. Hey. Never again. Oh, isn't that like 10 years of bad luck or something? Yeah, well, I deserve it. Has this got anything to do with Bella flipping out? I did her reading and I told her she was destined to find true love with Brody. You named names. I thought that was like a big no-no. Not actually, but as good as. They just seem so perfect together. <sighs> Maybe they're not. You know, there could be bigger problems that we don't know about. One way to find out. Hey, bro. What's up with Bella? I don't know. Oh, come on. She went into your room and then she left in tears. We just talked. She told you she still loves you. What? Were you eavesdropping? No. I just, I kind of pushed her into doing it. Thanks a bunch. Nope, we're still split. Seriously, I thought you'd jump at the chance to get back with her. Well, you guessed wrong. Who does he think he's kidding? I want a proper explanation. Look, leave it. You'll just make things worse. Trust me. I was a Baywatch fiend. Seriously, I had posters. You so missed out, girl. Knight Rider was the Hoff's best work. No way. Leather jackets, bad jeans, big belt buckles. No thanks. And a talking car. Kit. Huh? The car was called Kit. Knight Industries 2000. You... Absolute <laughs> geek. Yeah, I'll admit it. I was obsessed. Well, I'm still not convinced. Give me the Hoff and short shorts any day. Uh, bounding down the beach, showing off that hairy, hairy chest. Did I mention hairy? Yuck. Come to think of it, maybe it was Pammy I was checking out. Mm. Well, this movie must have finished by now. She was supposed to call. Oh, I bet I know what she's up to. Sneaking in some kisses with Phoenix. Ah, oh, what time to spoil their fun. <laughs> Hi, babe. How are you going? Everything okay? Meet you at home, then. Are you sure? OK. Fine. She all good? Yeah, fine. Uh, Chris is dropping her home, and she gave me permission to stay out late. Lucky you. Shall I pour us another wine? Yes, please. Your turn to pick the music. OK. Something dancey, unless you don't. Uh, excuse me? Well, if you have got the moves, we should do the club sometime. Uh, if I've got the moves, you cheeky thing. <laughs> Of course. I'm a free man, remember? Mm, a dumped man. Do I really want a Bella Cooper reject? Mm -hmm. And a poor man to boot. Money isn't everything, you know. Of course. All those champagne dinners in Manolo Blahnik's never hit anyone. <laughs> Morning. Garth. How's the day treating you? I should be asking you the same. Looks like your broken heart's already on the mend. We know what they say about spilt milk. How'd it go in there? I've been given a clean bill of health. Oh, so you'll be thinking about heading back to the UK? Well, I thought I might enjoy the rest of the summer up north. Nice. Uncle Garth has a bit of land near Walkworth. I'm driving up later today. So I should probably say my goodbyes now. We'll have a safe journey. <laughs> I don't think he looked at me once. Uh, chill factor 10. He's sure not going to loosen the purse strings any time soon, so he can rot. Hey, how was last night? Busy, as usual. They just kept rolling in. No surprises there. It's not like people stop getting sick just because it's night time. Yeah, try telling Callum that. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. As you are aware, the final night shift has just come to an end. So firstly, may I thank you all for your hard work and just reiterate our assurance that this change will benefit all patients in the long run. Cutting emergency services to benefit patients, right. Doesn't make sense to me either. OK, look, I understand your resistance, but the decision has been made, and this change is a necessary one. So please, make the effort to come to terms with it. I suppose you're going to say the same to the sick and injured turned away at the door. No one will be turned away, TK, because they will know to seek treatment elsewhere. OK, again, thank you very much. I won't hold you up. 
If anyone needs to talk one on one, I am more than happy to. Well, guess that's it then. Game over. I just don't get it. Huh? Bella and Brody, what went wrong? Brody's under heaps of pressure at the moment. What pressure? Just work stuff. Why do you keep making excuses for him? Is there something you know that I don't? No, Brody's just over Bella. End of. Oh, please. They're made for each other. Look, it's more complicated than that. How? It just is. So you think they're all wrong for each other? <laughs> Actually, no. They were great together. But what? Tell me. <sighs> Morning, babe. Phoenix. How was last night? You got in pretty late. As instructed. And it was heaps of fun. Cool. Oh, dinner was awesome. Real? Oh, mm, you're gonna ace her meg for sure. I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah, it's nice to have a girlfriend to hang out with. So, thanks again, really. Did you hear that? She called Nicole her girlfriend. Yeah, she sure did. Hey, you know how you said your mum got in late last night? Yeah. You don't reckon they were, you know. Phoenix, ooh. Sorry. And like that even matters. It's just cool she's smiling. More toast? No. I think you mean no thank you. No thanks. Morning. Morning. Got the call last night about Joseph's surgery. Right, it's all go. Yeah, I'm flying over this afternoon. The theatre team are booked and ready to go. Why can't I stay at Marcel's? We've been over this, Harry. We can't expect Marcel's mum and dad to take care of you for two weeks. They won't mind. But there's really no need. Margaret can do her usual bit. And then Rachel is happy to be here for you. We'll be fine, Harry. Whatever. Harry. Don't worry, buddy. I'm sure I can schedule in some man time. We've got some shopping to do, and then we're meeting Garth for lunch before he heads off. You're welcome to join us. Pass. Let's go. Coffee? Not for me. I have to say, I wasn't impressed with your little display earlier. What? All over that Marsden girl, right outside the hospital. That's your business, how? It's got nothing to do with me. But you might at least think of Bella. The same Bella who ditched me. You know full well why that happened. You were stringing her along to impress me, hoping to get your hands on your trust fund. Oh, crap. Don't try and pretend that Bella ever meant anything to you. How you could use and abuse a young woman like that defies belief. I'll blow it out your ear, you sanctimonious old coot. You turn up, dangling my inheritance in front of me like a carrot, expecting me to jump when you say jump. Well, you know what? You can take my inheritance and you can shove it. You, you. Spit it out, old man. Show me what you got. You're pathetic. Hey. Hey, thanks for last night. Oh, I only provided the venue. I want to remember to thank Ulla for the scrummy meal. Ah, uh, well, I'll show you sometime where she eats her culinary talent from. OK. We should have a hot night. Hire some Baywatch. Ah, uh, and Night Rider. I like that's made it to DVD. Oh, I bet you it has. If you can find it, I'll watch it. If I really have to. <laughs> watch it. Mm. Look at you two, thick as these. I'm as surprised as you are. She's not so bad. If you say so. Seriously, she's actually pretty cool. And I need all the friends I can get right now. You think OK? Fine. You sure? Yeah, just a spam text. Hey, yeah, coffee? Right, you can keep your stupid coffee. Nice to see you too. Why, well, did you just come here to be polite or was there something you actually wanted? I wanted to know when you became such a complete idiot. Seriously, what is your problem? My problem is you making me look like a witch. What do I do? True love served you on a platter and you send it back to the kitchen. I told you last night, Bella and I are finished. I don't care what your cards say. Forget the cards. This is all your fault. Can you just back off? I'm really not in the mood. Are you worried about your loan repayments? Hi, can you keep your voice down, please? So it's true. You didn't cheat on Bella? No. And this whole mess is over some little loan? 
A pretty big one, actually. But it's good to see that Daniel can't keep his mouth shut. You should be thanking him. What? Well, if it wasn't for Daniel, I wouldn't be here kicking your butt into realising that you are blowing the best relationship, which it is, and for what? Some borrowed cash. Look, it's not that simple. If I can't keep ahead of my loan repayments, Bella's family are going to lose the bar. So you're defaulting? Well, not as of yet. So what's the issue? I just want to pay it off so it's not hanging over us. And you expect Bella to hang around without any explanation? Maybe. You're crazy. Well, I'm just trying to do the right thing. By lying to her. Yeah, that really makes sense. Look, you can't keep Bella on the hook like this. I mean, she nearly married Isaac. Yeah, you don't need to remind me. And there is nothing stopping her from meeting someone else. So what am I supposed to do? You really need hitting over the head with it, don't you? Huh? Never mind. Look, tell her the truth. She loves you. She'll understand. <sighs> then you'll see the same. Time to start listening to your friends, huh? Words. What exactly did you say to the silver fox? Oh, several choice phrases, including you can shove my inheritance. I can see the orphanages springing up in Africa now. You mean he might put all that money to good use? No. Hilarious. Cecile won't let him deny her little boy forever, but I doubt you'll be seeing any money this side of 40. Still, you're a surgeon. A mere fellow. With great prospects, and you're not exactly broke. I'm just horribly middle of the road. That is not true. Living in my cousin's house, paying off debts, a promotion a million miles away. Now that you're not wasting time sucking up to Uncle Garth, you can start fixing things. Maybe. And I'll help. Thanks. You don't have to thank me. But you do have to get me to the airport. Yes, I got your text. You're not supposed to be thinking about me, remember? No way. <laughs> okay, fine. I've been thinking about you too, a teeny tiny bit. I'm looking for Mrs. Grimhorn. Um, I've got to go. See you. She's already in theatre. What's up? Nothing. Just boring clerical stuff. Nowhere near as interesting as your secret phone call. That was just Maxwell checking that I've been collecting his mail. His mail? How long have you two been together? It's not like that. We're just friends. Yeah, because I've been thinking about you too. <laughs> OK, friends with benefits. That doesn't sound like the Maxwell I know. I thought he was more your all or nothing type of guy. Yeah, he's not so keen on cash. But that's what you want? I'm getting serious seems wrong so soon after Maya. Maybe. The head doesn't usually win out at times like this. Tell me about it. I really like him, but it's bound to end in tears. Especially now you're tight with Vasa. Uh, and then there's that. What a mess. Well, I guess you just have to weigh up your options. Friendship versus benefits or whatever you have or might have going with Maxwell. Tricky. Hi. Hi. Look, ab about last night, I, I wish I could take it back. <sighs> Why should you? Because I upset you and I, I hate doing that. Oh, I upset you. The way I remember it, you ran out of my flat in tears. Yeah, but I bought it on myself. I mean, all that stuff with Isaac. I was stupid to think that you'd want me back. Well, no, hang on. But it's OK, Brody. I get it. I blew my chance. N no, you didn't. Look, this is all my fault. I didn't cheat on you, Bella. But I saw you with that. Yeah, Eloise, but we were not hooking up. I don't get it. She works for a finance company. What? I borrowed some money. Why didn't you just tell me? Because I was embarrassed. You know, I made a huge noise about investing in the IV, and then Dad wouldn't give me the money, so I had to look elsewhere. So Eloise wasn't a prostitute. You let me think she was because you were embarrassed. You let me dump you rather than tell me the truth because you were embarrassed. Yeah, well, then there was your mum and dad as well. I could have told you the truth, but then you would have had to lie to them, and I didn't want that. Why would I have to lie? They find out I took out a loan from a finance company. What do you think is going to happen? <sighs> no, they probably wouldn't like it because they're so old school. Yeah, they'd hate it. They'd think I wasn't going to make my repayments. But you are making them. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's been tight. But what if I helped? Hey? Well, I've been saving like a mad thing, just in case things... No. <laughs> no way. Because you can't forgive me for Isaac, and why should you? No, I, I totally forgive you. I love you, Bells. I love you like a mad thing. <laughs> You looking for your mum? Yeah. She's just on a ward round. She shouldn't be too long. Actually, I was hoping to see you too. I left some kitchen stuff at your place last night. OK, we'll come and grab it tomorrow if you like. Sweet. Your mum had a good time? It was fun. So much fun, we might just do it again. It's cool she's made a friend. She hasn't got round to it since she's been up here. Oh, too busy working and looking after you. I don't need looking after. She just wasted a whole lot of time trying to get Maxwell back. I don't think she'd like you telling me stuff like that. She wouldn't mind. Not now. Well, why not now? Because they are so over and they know that they shouldn't have done that in the first place. Hey, sweetheart. What's up? Hey, could I please have my pocket money? Me and Phoenix are going to grab some dinner together. Oh, hanging with Phoenix again, hey? Lovers in the air. Thanks. No worries. Hey, and guess what? I've rung around and located a box set of Knight Rider, the complete series. So name a night and we are on. No, too much. The pain. Oh, you're going to love it, honey. I promise. Help. Okay, let's sit him down. What happened? I don't know, he collapsed. Can you hear me? Have you been drinking, sir? I'll take it from here, thank you. Okay. Hey, buddy, can you tell me your name? Who's this guy? I don't know, a taxi driver just dropped him off. I can't get a word out of him. I better check him out. Really? Yeah, I don't take a sec, just don't tell Callum. Hi, right, mate, can you answer a couple of questions for me? Do you know where you are? <laughs> Chilton Street, that's right. And who's the Prime Minister? Okay. You think you could um, squeeze my hands for me? Okay, we need to get him to ED. We're supposed to be close. Stuff the rules. Well, I can organise a well, transfer. If he deteriorates in the way, we need to stabilise him first. Come on, give me a hand. Grab a chair, please. IV's in. Good. Hang in there, buddy. You're doing well. Uh, hang up a bag of normal salmon, thanks. Sure. Can I call you? Mr. Carey's appendicectomy. Good news. Yeah. Garth? Yeah, his license says he's a Worthington. Are you two related? He's my uncle. He was supposed to be on his way home. What's happened? He got dropped off by a taxi driver. That's about all we know. Symptoms? Uh, he's dysphagic, has a facial droop and left side of weakness. You think he's having a stroke? I do. He needs a CT as well. Okay. Uh, any history of high blood pressure? Yeah, uh, and he's just recovered from a DVT. Uh, what's the treatment? Anticoagulants. To put him at a high risk of a brain bleed. Yeah. Hey, it's okay. Relax. You're safe. Do you want me to call Chris? Hey, he's on a plane to Oz. I'll get in touch with him. Oh. Right, Suck in. Hey. Mum and Nicole? They're totally together. Seriously? Yeah. You should see them. They're really happy. Cool. You must be stoked. I am, I think. You don't sound so sure. It's just a big change. I thought you were all for it. Yeah, still a bit weird though. Probably be even weird if you're dad, eh? He can handle it. Still, be hard seeing with the chick, I reckon. Do you think I should warn him? No. I could text him or something. Your mum might want to explain it to him herself. You know, explain things properly. You worked hard to hook him up with Nicole. It worked, they're happy. I guess. <laughs> wow, sounds like a good result. Well done, you. Yeah, I'm just so clever. <laughs> Let's just hope the giggling doesn't stop. <laughs> Morning. Well, hello. You sleep well? Not really. Hmm, too much information. Oh, we were making up for lost time. Mm. Okay, that's too much info. <laughs> I was up in the shower and then we had some breakfast. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Yeah. Congrats, bro. <laughs> and sorry about spilling about the loan thing. Hey, don't worry about it. I probably actually owe you one. <laughs> At last, the man talks sense. Mm. So, you and Bella are all good? Yeah, man, better than ever. And you told her everything? Yeah, from start to finish, she was cool with it. I mean, I'm pretty sure she got it. <laughs> hey, if you're not sure, you better get it. No, 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 I am, I am. I laid it all out there. And like everybody says, I'm making my repayments just fine, so it shouldn't be a problem. But we haven't told her parents because that only freak. Mm. But hey. Cheers, guys. I got my girl back. 
You kept ED open till one o'clock in the morning, not to mention calling in a radiologist. Do you have any idea how much a specialist costs after hours? Well, clearly more than a human life. Oh, here we go again. It was a special case. I couldn't just take the risk. No, TK, you did it to undermine my authority. Oh, come on. Do you really think I'd do something that petty? The way you have been behaving lately, yes, I do. I'm here to save lives, not waste my time getting at you. Now, the patient had a stroke in front of me. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> the patient was having a TIA. When you knew that, you should have transferred him to Central. We've done most of the work, and we had a bed for him, plus the patient didn't want to go to Central. At times like this, what the patient wants is irrelevant. Uh, there's something else you should know about Save the patient. Save it, TK. It's clear what's going on here. You grabbed at an opportunity to defy my very specific instructions. Thank you, TK. Yeah, Chris and I owe you. So he's doing OK? He's remained stable. He's off to theatre to have a carotid inductorectomy in about now. What the hell's going on here? Well, I tried to say, the patient I admitted last night was Garth Worthington. And if it wasn't for you, Isaac and Chris may have lost their uncle. Rachel, you don't have the medical experience to make that judgement. What it comes down to, the correct thing to do would have been to transfer Garth to Central. Uh, there's every possibility that had my uncle been transferred, there would have been a good outcome. But it would have been highly stressful for him being moved in the middle of the night. I'm hugely grateful TK made the call he did. Hi. Maxwell, what are you doing here? I'm surprising you. I thought your flight back was later today. Well, I exchanged my ticket. I was hoping to catch you before you left for work. Looks like I'm in luck. Um, slow down. Okay. What's up? You didn't miss me. I really missed you. That's the problem. Okay, I'm lost. Well, I missed you, but I, I still don't know if I'm ready for a relationship. Did I say the R word? So you don't want things to get serious? Look, I want to be with you. Stuff the labels. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's a national treasure and flautist extraordinaire. Now, time to walk a mile in his shoes, being James Galway, Thursday at a quarter past ten. Next year on One, things are looking up for Al, as long as he doesn't look down. It's time for today's Doctors.